that under the circumstances, you had a nice vacation. We're back to our studies, but in a way that very few of us have ever experienced. Since we have so much work to do, and we're going through a situation that nobody could ever have guessed, I think that for this first video, we should do things a little bit different. So guys, now that we're back, how are we supposed to just start over? Uh, how can we just review the subject, the topics, the content that we saw before the vacation and just resume our lessons, okay? Well, I think the best way for us to start over and to review everything that we covered so fast just before uh, the vacation is by sharing our stories, okay? So I would like to share some of the things that I have experienced during this isolation period, during this quarantine. And I would like you guys to share as well. When the isolation period was declared, my family and I decided to come to my father's country house in Casapapa. Since I was skeptical about the corona situation, and because I love it here, I thought it was going to be nothing but fun. The first week was just work, a lot of work. My children couldn't understand why I was locked in the room for 14, 15, 16 hours a day. And when we watched the news, it just made us feel down. But one day at a time, we managed to find our peace. We could see the beauty in little things. We had some unexpected guests. And when we looked closer, even something that hurt could be beautiful. But then we ran into some problems. We were out of electricity for 24 hours while dealing with a bat infestation. When the light was back on, the water pump had a short circuit. We had absolutely no water. Fortunately, our neighbor was nice enough to let us use his water for three days. Despite the help we got, we were tired and frustrated. My family wanted to go home. My children missed school. Then one day, we went for a walk. My kids and my wife hadn't left the house since the beginning of the quarantine. To avoid any contact, we decided to explore a new path. When we reached the top of the hill, from a distance, we could see São José. It felt like a breath of fresh air. My children were so happy, as if they were running on the streets of our city. Now, we've been here for over 40 days. We still have some sunny days and some rainy days, and I'm not sure of what's going to happen in the future. But one thing I know, is that my family and I are blessed to be here, protected and together. Well guys, these were the experiences my family and I went through during this quarantine. Now, it's your turn to share your experiences. All you guys have to do is this. You have to write an essay, share your experience during this time away from school. What you guys to, to use when you're writing is this, okay? So we did some review exercises to start using the book American Think. I posted some exercises before the vacation. In those exercises, there, there, were, there was a section about descriptive verbs, okay? Also about phrasal verbs. So these are the kind of verbs I would like you guys to use. You can use some verbs that we saw in the book, but you can research other ones, okay? Also, 
é, past perfect tenses, ok? Simple past, per simple past perfect and past perfect continuous, ok? We have the, you guys have the information. I posted the, these videos before the vacation. And then we have extreme adjectives and negative adjectives, ok? So these were all the topics that were covered just before the vacation, ok? This was part of the, uh, uh, the introduction unit in the book, ok? Unit 0, ok? So you guys practice this. Uh, I gave, I sent you guys the PowerPoints, the videos explaining that. Take a look at that. And then if you guys have some questions, we can discuss that uh, during our class on Wednesday uh, this week. Okay? That's it. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you for your patience. You guys keep studying and I see you guys in